Pretty, re pretty remarkable. The clown, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, is now, well, the, this game. So they replaced McCarthy uh, with Johnson, uh, and now they want to replace Johnson with who? Uh, Matt Gates? Anyway, Marjorie speaking, so be quiet. Words vote prior to conviction of, of a crime. To this day, the Republican expelled from the House under Speaker Johnson has not been convicted of a crime. Meanwhile, a Democrat now holds that seat. Whereas Speaker Johnson supported fully funding abortion, the trans agenda, the climate agenda, foreign wars, and Biden's border crisis, rather than ensuring liberty, opportunity, and security for all Americans. Whereas Speaker Johnson relied on Democrat votes on at least two occasions, with the first transgression occurring on March 22nd, 2024, with the House passage of HRS 1102, part two of the Johnson-Schumer omnibus, and the second breath. transgression occurring on April 20th, 2024, with House passage of HR 8035, the $61 billion Ukraine funding bill. On both occasions, the majority of the majority. Delay will suspend. On both occasions, the majority of the majority, 112 Republicans voted against the measures, while only 101 voted in favor. Whereas before Kevin McCarthy was ousted as speaker, our conference had passed seven appropriation bills which were some of the strongest conservative bills passed in decades. Speaker Johnson refused to continue this important process. He instead led us to another CR on January 18th, 2024, and got it passed with the support of 207 Democrats. And Speaker, the House is not in order. Ladies recognized. And only 107 Republicans, while 106 Republicans voted against it. Whereas Speaker Johnson passed a third CR, this time calling it a process CR, as if that made continuing Nancy Pelosi's budget yet again any different from the previous CRs. Whereas with little to no communication with our conference, Speaker Johnson passed the first minibus appropriations bill on March 6th and passed the second minibus appropriation bill two weeks later on March 22nd. Whereas a two-part omnibus split into two minibuses was crammed down our throats and passed under suspension of the rules with only one day to review it. Whereas Speaker Johnson's omnibus did nothing to stop Biden's deadly border invasion, it fully funded it. Speaker Johnson did nothing to stop the energy-killing Green New Deal climate agenda, he fully funded it. He did nothing to stop the weaponized Department of Justice and FBI, he fully funded them. He did nothing to stop the trans agenda on kids, he fully funded it. He did nothing to stop full-term abortions, he fully funded them. He did nothing to stop the fueling of forever foreign wars. He fully funded them. Whereas on April 18th, 2024, the Rules Committee passed HRS 1160, the rule providing for consideration of the $95 billion foreign funding package by a vote of nine to three, notably, all Democrat members of the committee voted to advance the measure to the floor, while, <laughs> while three Republicans opposed it. It is unprecedented for members of the minority party to advance a resolution out of the Rules Committee. Since 1995, there have been a few instances of rules advancing out of committee with minority support. However, HRS 1160 is the only instance where this was done to bypass opposition from the members of the majority party. Anymore? Whereas the last instance 
an appropriations measure which passed the House failed to include a majority of the majority was on final passage of the fiscal year 2015 Department of Homeland Security House Appropriations Bill during the 114th Congress. In the months following this failure, Speaker Boehner announced his resignation. Whereas in a January 26, 2024, dear colleague, Speaker Johnson called the Senate Supplementals and Border Security legislation dead on arrival in the House. Likewise, in January 2024, Speaker Johnson took a trip to the U.S.-Mexico border where he said, if President Biden wants a supplemental spending bill focused on national security, it better begin by defending America's national security. Whereas in the months following his border trip, Speaker Johnson introduced a $95 billion foreign aid supplemental with no border security attached. Whereas excuses like, this is just how you have to govern in divided government, are pathetic, weak, and Ooh. unacceptable. Even with our razor thin Republican majority, we could have at least secured the border with it being the number one issue in the country and the issue that is actually causing Biden to trail President Trump in poll after poll. That's not true. Whereas Speaker Johnson's capitulation on his promise to secure the border came on the heels of Lake and Riley being brutally murdered, women and children being raped by illegal alien monsters, and our own Border Patrol and Texas National Guard being run over by hordes of military age. What is going on? Hmm? What happens next? Uh, they're going to have their vote now. Who's, well, Steve Scalise didn't get it last time. Kevin McCarthy just about got it, and that, that turned out very well. Uh, so they brought in Speaker Johnson. It's like a revolving door. Who wants to be a... <laughs> they have the majority. That's the craziest thing, to sound all chip Roy. Name me one! One thing that they've achieved. Does anybody know that I'm an outside look at it? To me, this is just like, it's like when a Premier League, English Premier League football clubs decide to change their manager. It's, uh, it's a mess. And this is in an election year. So I come back to it. What is the end goal? What is Marjorie Taylor Greene and her space lasers, Moscow Marge? What is she really up to? Because this is not, look, all lined up. I think these are moderate uh, cop lawmakers. This is not an SNL sketch. This is real serious at the top politics. And what a mess. Total mess. I have a solution, by the way. Uh, press the like button if you agree with me. The solution is that the Dems take over, that Hakim Jeffries become speaker, and get on with real things, serious things which affect everyday Americans. Jobs, housing, health, schools, infrastructure, proper stuff. Not this non-entical garbage. How is, just how is the, the House, this part of Congress, this historical uh, setup being controlled by such a buffoon called Marjorie Taylor Greene? Comment section now, please.